I'm Guy Harris and I'm a childhood friend of Elvis. <laughs> Actually, we met when I was an infant down here on Adams Street, one block down from here uh, and uh, at the end of Berry Street. And uh, in the afternoons, I was born in 38 and uh, he was a little over three year old at that time. And in the afternoons, uh, mother and I would, she said she'd take me out on the porch and uh, uh, we'd watch this little church being built, the Assembly of God Church. It was built the summer that I was born by the Massel Brothers. So then, uh, yearly every afternoon, Gladys and Elvis would walk down and, uh, you know, spend some time. And he just started picking at me and playing with me when I was just an infant. We just grew up together. Well, yeah, whenever, you know, when I got a little bit bigger where I could tag along with them, then I just started tagging along with them and playing with them. And, you know, I thought I was just as big as they was, even though uh, he and uh, Odell, our other friend uh, that just lived a block up the street there, uh, were, you know, like I said, three years, a little over three years older than I was. Well, we played up in here a lot, up, uh, up on these hills up in here. Uh, you know, those f uh, three little houses and two bigger houses was over here at, at here at the birthplace, and uh, and we'd play up here on these hills up here behind the thing, and up on the hill, and just over the hill was a lake that we would, uh, you know, we got just a little bit over. We'd slip off over there and try to get some brim or something like that, you know, just something to do. And we also played on the Darty property, which is north of us uh, here. We, we played there a lot because uh, actually we would, we would probably played over there more than we did anywhere because uh, uh, that was the, uh, the path to, our, to the creek was be what we was hunting before it, it, you know, before it got too late in the day. And uh, we'd mess around over there in those woods and then we'd go over and hit that path and go down into the creek bed and walk down to a swimming hole. Uh, water down through there would probably be anywhere from ankle deep to knee deep until you got to where we swam down there. And then uh, we'd get back out on the bank. Uh, we were that way every day, you know, we're just kidding, carrying on with each other, you know, and me being a, a little bit younger than them, uh, you know, I'd get a big laugh out of them arguing back and forth, you know, they them about, we're going to do this or we're going to do that or we're not going to do this or we're not going to do that. And, uh, but, uh, you know, it's just, uh, just, you know, some guys that, uh, just young boys that, uh, didn't have nothing else to do, so we just we we find something to do. If uh, when anything going on, we we try to make something happen. <laughs> yeah, they, that was our middle name back then. For trouble. <laughs> well, the last time I saw him was here. I was in Tupelo, December the 29th, 1970. He and Priscilla and. Uh, a couple of guys that worked with him was in town, and a uh, guy that I worked with on the police department uh, named Bill Mitchell had got elected sheriff, and uh, so uh, uh, they uh, made him honorary deputy sheriff of Lee County, and uh, after we got all that done, then uh, he and I and Priscilla came out here and visited uh, out in here later on that night, you know, just as it was getting dark. Of course, the chapel wasn't here then, and uh, uh, we would we parked over in front of the Methodist Church that night, you know, just to kind of throw people off, you know, to who it might be, and then we walked across and went over by the ball fields, and of course, back behind us up here we had the ball field, and then the, the swimming pool that uh, I used to take my daughter when she was young up there on my days off in the police department. And, We'd swim in the pool and we'd play ball over there in that ballpark. Just different things. Uh, he wanted to know if uh, my brother and I ever uh, used the, uh, uh, ever came to the swimming pool, and I told him, yeah, you know, and uh, then I, uh, he wanted to know if we played ball on that field. He said, well, you know, that was 
his intentions of putting it here so that the kids would have somewhere to swim and play ball and stuff and didn't have to play in the pasture or down in the creek and stuff like that. Uh, he said, you know, things have changed since me as you, little fella. And I said, yeah, uh, I don't know if change is good always, but it's still, we still have change. Well, it, it was good because, uh, like I said, uh, I grew up with him, you know, and uh, uh, even uh, after they'd move around here in East Tupelo, and then they moved over on Green Street for a while, and then uh, us not having a, uh, my family not having a vehicle, we would uh, uh, ever so often the uh, pastor of the Assembly of God Church would uh, take several of us that was good friends with him, uh, my mother and myself and my brother, and we'd go over and visit with him for a while. And, uh, just, you know, just friendship. Well, you know, uh, I really don't know because we uh, carried on with each other quite a bit, you know, and, uh, uh, but I would have really have loved to have seen him one more time, you know, before he passed on, but uh, it, uh, our paths just didn't cross, you know. He had one thing to do and I had another, so uh, uh, we just, but we saw a lot of each other back in the 50s and stuff like that, you know. But, uh, visiting him up there and him visiting us down here pretty often and uh, uh, so it was a great friendship for the ones.